there's no longer any divisions on this ship, so it leaves forever. What do I think about the current state of affairs in the world? Well, I have to say it all, it all seems kind of familiar to me. And, um, and I recently realized where I'd seen this all before. And it was about 55 years ago in the uh, sort of late 60s that um, on an episode of Star Trek, uh, stay with me on this, an episode called The Day of the Dove. The humans, on, uh, Captain Kirk and, and his crew, are meeting with a delegation of Klingons. Now they're sworn enemies, but they get along together well enough in the galaxy. And um, you know, they have uh, diplomatic recognition. And there's the occasional flare up, but nothing serious. And so they're meeting, and then suddenly uh, this, uh, the hundreds of crew members, the human crew members, are blocked off from where the Klingons are, except for 38 humans, because there are 38 Klingons. And their weapons suddenly disappear and turn into swords. And the humans and the Klingons start fighting one another with these swords. Where they used to be able to talk diplomatically and resolve their issues, now they're just fighting. And they're fighting to the death. But the crazy thing is, is that when someone is injured or dies, their wounds heal, they come back to life so they can stay in the fight, so the numbers stay the same, so the division between the Klingons and the humans is, is equal at all times, so that the fight is balanced. Um, they're divided against one another. And it's only when Kirk realizes that there is this alien entity on board that is, that is feeding off of this hatred um, this animosity, and he needs the hatred to continue, and that's why they are reduced to swords, and that's why they, 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 they don't die. Once he realizes that, he convinces the Klingons to join with the humans, and you know what they do? They just start laughing at the alien entity. It's this mist that's floating through the Enterprise, and it's this laughter, it's this, it's this getting along together, it's the lack of the hatred that forces the alien to realize that there's no longer any division between the Klingons and the humans on this ship, so it leaves forever. That's what it reminds me of. It also reminds me of an experiment that's been conducted, if you're a lab rat, been conducted unfortunately thousands of times. They take a single lab rat and they put him in a cage, and the cage has a metal floor, and every once in a while they, they send an electric uh, charge through the floor and it shocks the the poor lab rat. There's nothing he can do about it. It's, it's random, he's frustrated, he's in pain, and he just curls up. So then they introduce a second lab rat into that same cage. So now there are two lab rats in this cage, and they continue this process of, of randomly shocking both lab rats, sending an electric charge through the floor. You know what the lab rats end up doing? Fighting one another. They're so frustrated, there's so much pain, they don't, they don't know why it exists. They're, they don't know who's controlling it. Um, so they lash out at the only, the only thing against whom they can direct that anger and frustration, and it's the other lab rat, which of course has nothing to do with um, the source of the electric shocks. So I don't know. Um, I don't know who or what is the alien entity. Uh, I don't know whose hands are on the control of the switch, but it, in both instances, they, they, they are thriving on the division, on the hatred, on the animosity, on the lack of civility. And it certainly seems like we're the lab rats, and it is certainly all unnecessary.